Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to set up a custom sound when you get a, an email from a specific person in Microsoft Outlook. So it's kind of like on your cell phone where you could have a custom ringtone for uh, certain people or certain sounds for text messages that come from certain people. So if you have like someone you want to, you know, change your notification sound for so you always know when you're getting an email from them, you know, rather than hearing the default beep, you could do that. So we're going to do a little test here and see what the default sound sounds like. So the uh, Outlook email box here is for Todd Sims, and we're going to have Cindy send Todd an email and just to see what it sounds like here. So let's just send it to Todd. Let's call this test. So now we'll just wait for it to come in and hear the default sound. All right, so here's our default notification and with our default sound. So let's just delete that. Okay, so now let's make our sound that's uh, specific for emails that come from Cindy. So one trick you could use is if you have an email from that person, highlight it, because then when you go to Rules and go to Create Rule, it automatically populate with their name, and you could do it the easy way. So you could do From Cindy Sims, Subject Contains Anything, because we want it from all our emails. Then if you have more than one uh, email address configured in Outlook, you can pick which one you want it to apply to. And then we're going to play a selected sound, and you can browse to your sound. Wave files, you can sample it, and then click OK. And then you could have it run the rule on messages already in the folder, which we don't need to do, so we'll just click OK. And so if you didn't have it, you'd have to go to Rules, Manage Your Rules, and then create a new rule from here. Let's say Apply to mess apply Rule on Messages I Receive from Specific People. And let's say uh, John Doe here, and then next, play a sound, and you'd have to assign the sound, and next, and if you want to have any exceptions here, you click next, and then so on, and you can name the rule right there. So that's the long way of doing it. If you don't have an email address that you could uh, click on to have it auto-populate for you there. But we had that, so okay, so we'll just cancel this. All right, so now that we have our uh, new rule in place, let's send another email and see what happens here. I'll just test two. Okay, wait for it to come in. So there's our sound. And there's the default sound. So now we have both. So if you wanted to only have the new sound, you could go to the, you could turn off all notifications from here if you wanted to, or go to the notification settings for Outlook. So that's under system notifications, then find Outlook if you don't catch the pop-up here. And then you could play a sound when notification arrives, you could turn that off. But the catch is it will turn it off for everybody. So you will have your new sound from for Cindy's email, but all other uh, recipients, you won't get any sound unless you assign a custom sound to them. So let's try that real quick. Send one more. All right, there's our new sound and our pop-up with no with no uh, default sound. Now, of course, you could go back there and turn the sounds back on if you want. So that's up to you if you want to have double sounds for uh, your custom ones or not. I mean, it's not going to hurt. You'll, at least you'll know that you have your specific sounds, so it'll catch your attention uh, when you're listening for your email sounds. All right, so once again, just try and have an email selected from that person if you have one. Go to Rules, Create Rule, check the box from that person, and then check the box for Play a Sound, pick your WAV file, and if you don't have an email from that person, you can go to the Advanced Options and do it the uh, long way that I just showed you. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.